Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. I am the Divine Maverick, also known as the Mother of Twins, helping you along this twin flame journey. Hello, we're going to talk about decision making, decision making, making a decision. This could either be for you or this could be for somebody that you are very much connected to that has a very difficult time choosing what they want to do. Okay, if you are just joining me, thank you for being here. I'm just trying to help us along this journey of ascension. I see y'all coming into the room. Come on in the room. There is a message. There is a word. Yes, there is. How is everybody feeling today, this day? Good. Okay, um, if you this is your first time watching, I like to do what we call an energetic exchange, okay? So as I'm giving you these messages... If you if I say something that's real good to me, I'll say put it in the chat and what I need you to do to get in on the energy or have that message that I'm speaking to you for you come to manifestation is you put what I said in the chat. So that's how we work. We're going to work together with each other. We're going to ping pong off each other's energy. OK, and the more you participate, the more messages that will come flying through for you and yours. All right. So with that, I got to tell y'all a story because I, I got a whole revelation. I received a whole revelation while taking a phone call from my brother. And this was an, um, a spontaneous phone call, an unplanned call, because my family knows not to just pick up the phone and call me any time of day because I am either in prayer, coming out of prayer, about to go into prayer or talking to somebody. But, you know, this is my life. This is not, not a show or an act. This is, this is my life. So um, my family doesn't just you know, pick up the phone and call me. All right. And I, and I thank them for that. You know, they learned the hard way not to just pick up the phone. That's just a message for somebody. Somebody has learned that, that you are not the one to be toyed with or played with. Your time is valuable. You're doing something productive. Okay. Right. So anyway, anyway, um, so my brother calls me and I almost did not take the call, but I heard spirit say, take the call. And I know why now, which is bringing me to the message that I came to give you today about you need to make a decision. Now I'm going to say to you, you're either dealing with someone who is very, very, can be stubborn, maybe even fearful, maybe even, you know, used to comfort. They like to be comfortable. They don't like to be pulled out of their comfort zone or their routine or all of this message could be for you. But either way, you need to make a decision. Why? For peace. Okay. Okay, for peace. Why? Because there will be a peaceful resolution. Some of you have been avoiding making a decision because you did not want to receive the fallout of that decision. You didn't want to tell somebody hello or you didn't want to tell somebody goodbye. But whatever it was going to be, you thought it was going to be all chaotic and everything. But now spirit is letting me tell you or allowing me to say to you even now because you didn't know what was going to happen up to this point, but now it's time for you to know. That's good right there. Y'all put this in the chat. Now it's time for me to know. Hmm. Now it's time for me to know because in order for you to make this decision, there are some things that have to be revealed to you. So that's why it was probably maybe hard for you, some of you to make a decision or if you're dealing with somebody that was having a difficult time choosing one route or another, it's time for them to know what they need to know in order for them to just go ahead. Because I feel like once this decision is made, that everything is going to start to move forward again. Everything is going to start to pick up. That's another message. Okay. And so, I feel the ancestors coming to encourage you that you are on the right path. Stay on this path right here. Stay, stay where your motivation is. Whatever motivates you, that is the path you need to be jumping on. So with that, my title, you need to make a decision, right? It came from my brother. My brother is in the market for a pickup truck for some reason. Okay, he wants a pickup truck. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use our conversation to, to illustrate this point that I'm telling you that it's decision making time. But in this, I was it was revealed to me my brother's decision making process, which may help some of you in your love connection, especially if you're dealing with somebody that does not you know, seem like they're budging or moving or maybe they're stalling or they're telling you to be patient. And you're like, I've been patient. It's been five years. It's been 15 years. It's been three years. You know, I'm saying you've been patient and they keep telling you, can you be a little more patient? And it might be getting difficult. It might be difficult for you to keep on holding on or, or waiting. Right. So anyway, this may give you some insight into what uh, the way this person minds work, the mecha the inner mechanisms of their life. So my brother said, I'm in the market for this pickup truck. And he told me that pickup trucks are in high demand. All right. That's something for the chat right there. Put it in the chat. I am in high demand. 
I am in high demand. Meaning, because every when I saw the pickup truck, the first thing I saw was a relationship. The first thing I saw was a partnership. The first thing I saw was a union, right? And I was like, okay, so the pickup trucks are in high demand, he says. And he even said, and there he mentioned a certain brand that's going above all the others. Ishama, I'm already in the message. I said he mentioned a certain brand that is above all the others. See, there's a lot of different choices that can be made, but there is a certain one that is above all the others. Are you with me? Stay with me, okay? And so he said this particular brand, and he said everybody wants this because it's reliable. In other words, lessons have been learned, okay? People have shown, studies have shown, experience has shown that you have um this is the this is the way for you to go see the karmic lessons having the good and the bad and the ugly and the indifferent and having all those ups and downs and ins and outs have taught you and and have has has have has given you a strength that you didn't know you even had right and it's taught you a lot of lessons now you're realizing that god has a funny way of showing you lessons now you are realizing that there are no mistakes really that if you keep on trying if you keep on experimenting being that explorer you are naturally that you will find the answer or even better than that the answer will find you i'm talking to the ones of you that are finding out answers now the ones that are in need of an answer and you're going to get an answer because that is why i'm here with this message today saying all you do all you need to do is make a decision okay so anyway my brother said that there's this one brand uh this one brand that is in particular high demand because of its reliability right okay so he said, I, I already got the check. I'm, I'm pre-approved. So, you know, he's ready. In other words, he is, he is prepared for, for, to go where he needs to go. Okay. There's been a time of preparation, things like financial things coming into order, um, uh, different houses coming in order. That's so why I'm seeing the 11th house, the seventh house coming into order, the second house coming into order, the first house coming into order, you know, who you are, but I see the houses coming into order for this person, for my brother. Okay. For this person, but he he's his ducks are in a row so he's going in there already he's already negotiating from a place of power put this in the chat i am negotiating from a place of power those of you who are dealing with legal issues or think or legal matters you're about to be able to negotiate now from a place of power no more victimhood you're about to negotiate for now from a place of power i'm hearing upper hand upper upper hand. Maybe because some of y'all have been in the upper room. Maybe because some of y'all have been up up late at night. But you not haven't been up late at night pacing the floor. You've been up late at night writing out the strategy. You've been up late at night getting the downloads. You've been up late at night seeing how you're going to do things. You've been making the blueprint. You need to make a decision now. You need to make a decision now. Now everything is coming into view and now everything is becoming very clear to you now, right? Right? I love that. I love that. Okay, so watch this. So my brother has the pre-approved check, knows what he wants, and in the space of me talking to him on the phone for, it was about a 12, 13 minute phone conversation. He had four phone calls that came and they were all from dealerships saying, Hey, 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 let's work with you. Hey, 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 we'll match this. And again, I said, he is matching. He is matching. Uh, yeah. Matching that same energy, but he is coming negotiating from a place of power. Whereas he doesn't need to beg or, or, or steal or borrow. He simply can speak because up knowing what he possesses. See, you've been dealing with somebody that has had to get their ducks in a row. You've been dealing with somebody that's been doing some inner work, some something that you couldn't see. You've been dealing with somebody trying to um, untangle themselves from something that you didn't really know they were tangled up with. You might have had a, an inkling about some of the things, but you don't know all the things. You just know there was something. Okay. But I'm saying that you've been dealing with somebody that has been steadily and consistently and persistently and decidedly robo shata about wanting to move in a different direction, but that has, has caused them to have to make some certain moves and they had to make very calculated moves. If I'm seeing the chessboard and I'm hearing strategy, they had to strategize this. Some of them had to come up with a vision and then they had to come up with another vision. Some of them were dealing with something that was covert is what I'm hearing. Covert action is what I'm hearing. Some of them had to deal with big family dynamics that, that held their, their destinies and their futures in the balance. So they had to move very, um, they had to move correctly. So anyway, so anyway, and this could even be you, maybe you are on a job because I am seeing somebody in a job situation where you really want to say, take this job and shove it. I ain't working here no more. I don't know who listens to country music, but I'm hearing take this job and shove it. But you know that that wouldn't be wise. 
that wouldn't be the best way to handle that. You understand and you know that you're going to have to just, this, this, is, this is strategy. See, that strategy over here on this side. You need to make a decision, though. You definitely need to, because the moment you make a decision to stop straddling the fence, especially if this is about a, an occupation or a career choice or a place that you are in now established as a, like a worker bee or an assistant or something like that, a laborer, uh, an assistant, that's what I'm hearing, then you need to make a decision that you're going to believe in yourself or trust in yourself. You do need to make that decision that, that you're going to, you know, be on the side of, of choose you. Let me just say that, choose you. Okay, now. Now, so anyway, so my brother um, is getting all these phone calls and so every, everybody's like willing to meet his price. You know, or, 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 or something like it. Everybody has something else to offer, right? They're trying to get him from his original intent, right? On to see things their way. I'm already in the message. Like I said, my brother knows what he wants. He knows what he wants, but they're trying to say, well, I can't give you that, but I can give you this. See, somebody has been trying to give you, you said, give me the world. And they said, I'll give you this piece of land. Oh, Sheba, Robo Bosa. And you said, that's not what I asked for. That's not what I wanted. I said, give me the world. They said, well, I can't give you the world. World right now but what i can give you is this block right here i can give you this block of cheese do you like cheese no i'm lactose intolerant no i don't do dairy somebody was trying to offer you something that you didn't want i didn't ask you for that that's why you had to make a decision all right that or or you need to make a decision because you know that's not what you want all right you you reta i said you are negotiating now from a place of power yes all right so let's keep going so, um, so my brother says to me, he says, well, what, what would you do? You know, cause he was, he was griping about the price. Says, let me, let me go here for a second. Is it okay if I go here? Is it, I'm, I just need, I just need to swing by this, this, the street one second. But what he said was, look at all these fees, this fee for this, fee for that, a fee for that, a fee for this and this and that and this and that. And I'm watching him add this stuff up. I'm watching him like, you know, all this, it's, it's like 3000 in fees, like unnecessary fees. And then I said to him, I said, the thing that you want is going to cost you. He said, what? I said, the thing that you want is going to cost you how much you willing to pay for it. I said, Cause right now you're not talking about like money is an issue. Money is not a problem right now. Space and opportunity is not even a problem right now because at any point you can get off this phone and go get what you want. I'm, listen, whose street am I on? See, so it's not the money anymore. It's not the children. It's not the baby mama. It's not the mama or the daddy. It's not the siblings. It's not the church. It's not the car. It's not the employment. So it's nothing. Now there is nothing. There is nothing in the way of it. So how much are you willing to pay? Because this thing that you want, because my brother wanted a certain kind of truck. Rabbi, somebody said he, there was specificity. Specificity. Put it in the chat. Rabbi, there was a certain kind of truck that my brother wanted and it was right before him and he's sitting here griping about the price, the, the additional fees. Listen, when you go, when you're upgrading, when you want something that is in high demand, baby, there will be additional fees. Somebody put in the chat, there will be additional fees. This is going to cost you something. This is going to cost you something. And so just then and this is how much God loves my brother and this is how much spirit loves you watch this because in a moment once he's been grabbing about the fees the phone he goes hold on a second he comes back up to about three or four minutes and he says to me the person this this dealership just called me and I told them about the fees and everything and what I'm willing to pay and they said they would meet that in other words they took the they took the money down robot it's almost like spirit supernaturally took three thousand oh okay three thousand is our problem is that what the, is that what the hold up is it's like spirit said uh, so what are we waiting for we waiting for the kids to get in daycare is that okay well daycare is not a problem now because you your mama's going to keep them. How about that? Is that okay? That's going to save you some money. What? Okay. What are we waiting for? We're waiting for you to find a better job. Okay. Well, you know what? Your uncle decided to go ahead and put you on. Okay. So, so you start Tuesday. It's okay. So is that, is that now, now can you make a decision? Now can you make a decision? That's what, that's what spirit is saying to some of y'all. Now can you make a decision? The obstacle, the so-called obstacle has been removed. Now can you make a decision? Now can you make a move? Now can you go forward? Because what you thought was holding you back, the thing that was causing you to, to delay or to procrastinate is now, that's, that's not an issue anymore. So now what? Okay. And so my, when my brother said, well, which one do you think? What do you think I should do? What? And I said, well, it looks like spirit has already intervened and took the fees off. 
To me, that, that's what that looks like to me. I call that, uh, what I call that is serendipity and I call that synchronicity, okay? I also call that seek and you shall find, ask and you shall be receiving, okay? Or you, it shall be given. That's sitia. Carvita, I gotta say, she said, what if the decision made was not in your best interest? What I would say to you is that that's, that's all subjective, you can, if you want to call it not in your best interest, then you're going to keep creating something, some circumstances that's going to make you have to correct that and say, okay, this wasn't my best interest. In other words, you're going to keep on hitting the same wall until you and spirit start to agree. Okay. So you can keep saying I did it. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. But one little, one little, um, adjustment, simply saying, I'm not making mistakes. I'm learning. I'm growing. I'm not making mistakes. I'm learning. I'm growing. It's all subjective and it's all from your perspective. I would choose the higher perspective at all times. Love you. All right. Let me go back. I had to, I had to address that guys real quick. Now. So um, I forgot what I was saying when I said that. Who shall I? Yeah. So I said, it feels like spirit has given you everything you've asked for. So all you have to do now is just make, just go. Now you just have to go forward. And then my brother was like, Oh, this is what happens to me all the time. I say I'm not going to do a thing and I just and I back off of it. But this is my process. This is my process because he was letting me know I, the moment I see it is the moment I know I want it and I'm going to get it and I won't stop until I get it. I just have to go through my stuff. So I'm trying. I just want to encourage a few of y'all that there is a person that you are dealing with that seems like they cannot make a decision to save their lives. But baby, I'm telling you, it's their process. Put this in the chat. It's their process. Baby, they have to overanalyze. They have to think about it. Baby, they have to ask two or three people, then they still, but, but, but what you need to know is they already know what they want. The moment they see it, they're very visual. They're very, they're, they're, they're visionaries. Okay. So they see it. So the moment they saw you, the moment they came into contact with you in this lifetime, the moment they remembered who you are by simply touching you or being in your space or seeing you from across the room or seeing your social media and just liking, because that's an energetic exchange. If I agree with something or like something, that you're doing. I am giving you my energy. Rubba, I am supporting you. That's how serious this energy thing is. And so your person already knew what they wanted the moment they saw you. And all this stuff has been, all this rigmarole, all these ins and outs, all these betrayals and disappointments, all this whole crazy amazing journey has been is this person coming to that decision saying, I knew I was going to get it from the very beginning because my brother is on his way to go get that truck. Rubba, as we speak he's on his way to go get that truck. He didn't really need my opinion. Rubba, but he knew what I was going to say. He didn't even really care. He just wanted to bounce it off somebody because baby, that's his process. He likes to talk out loud. He likes to draw it out. He likes to journal it sometimes. Some of y'all people like to, to ride your bicycles or something, or they, they like to go exercise. They like to work out on the thing. They like to sleep on the thing. They probably said that I had to sleep on it. So you have to know where your person is and, and how your flow is and how you flow, because I guarantee your person is probably very similar to the way you handle things. If you look at it real close, you'll see what I'm talking about. I know, I know, but I'm saying, I'm saying, Listen, this it's decision time. It's decision time. Some of y'all have somebody on their way to you right this moment. Some of you have answered prayers that are coming on chariots right this moment. It's short Listen to these cards. This, this is from my deck that I have not put out yet. But it says somebody's ready to let go of everything and leave it all behind. They're ready to let go of every, letting go of it all. And, and come, why? Because I need you so much right now. It's Shamanda. Come through, Smokey Norfolk. I need you now. I need you now. And they say, listen, deception. I think you're lying to me because you told him that you're going to go date. You told him that you're going to, you're going to go try to find you somebody else. You told him you don't have any room in your heart for love. You, you, you abandoned me. Love don't live here anymore. Reba, listen, but they said you're lying. You're lying. I know you're lying. You're not telling the truth. You're not telling the truth. You know you want me. And they also said, I need to get sober. They're admitting to you they drink too much. They sleep too much. They watch too much porn. They're admitting to you that they can be lazy. They can be non-committal. They're admitting to you that they smoke too much. They're admitting to you they pop too many pills. They, they have too many things going on. They admit to you they need to get themselves together. They need to get sober. They need to face their addictions. Pray for me, they say. Pray for me. And they say, here's my decision. I choose you, baby decisions. I choose you. That's who I want. It's you. And, and it always last card is I want you to have my baby. Now, if you do not 
Are you not in uh, childbearing age and that's not something you want? Don't even worry about it. Don't even trip because I want you to have my baby means I want to start a life with you. There's something I want to birth with you. Whether it's a family situation, we bringing our families together or it's a business or a new project or something that y'all just come out of the blue with. I don't know because you're coming together for a reason. You know that, right? Yes, you do. But there's something I want you to have my baby. I'm going to leave it right there. You guys, thank you so much for lending your energy. Thank you for lending your energy to my energy. And this is a wonderful message. And I hope it encouraged and blessed those who needed to encourage and bless. And for those of you still hanging on and hanging in there the best way you can, I would say keep on going. You are way stronger than you think you are. And you are much, much smarter than you know. I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see y'all again soon. I love you. <laughs> Bye.